Hi again, uh, let's continue our talk about manipulating the DOM with JavaScript. And in the last example, we created, um, you know, we created something that just looped through a collection of nodes or HTML elements and, you know, applied a style to each one. Um, let's actually create some elements from, you know, with JavaScript rather than having them predefined in the DOM. So to do that, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top here and delete everything but the ID A right there. And maybe I'll even change this A to um, to main, okay? So I'll change the name to main. And then in my script tag here, I'm just gonna delete everything that we had, okay? And, uh, and there we go, right? So I'll leave the style tag there, but we're gonna write our script in the script tag, and then we'll add elements here to this, um, to this, uh, main element, okay? So let's get started. So under script here, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna define a variable called main, and then I'll get a reference to it, and I'll just use get element by ID. That's kind of an easy one. So we'll just make it main, and now we've got main, right? Um, and then the next thing I wanna do is I wanna create a for loop and I'm going to create, um, actually, we don't even need a for loop. Let's just create one element. We'll make more than one in a minute, right? So now we want to make a box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, uh, let me write uh, const box here. And I'm going to call element, right? And when we create an element, we say what the tag name is. So I'm just going to create a div, okay? And, you know, when I've done that, um, you know, if I was to refresh the page here, you know, it doesn't really look like anything. And there's a couple reasons why, okay? So first of all, if I inspect the elements and I look at my, at my, my, at the, the source code here, um, you can see I've got a div and then there's only, it's only div main. Like I didn't create a div called box. There would have been another empty div here. So I created it here, but it didn't appear in, in the structure of my page, right? So when you create an element, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't appear on the page until we append it or add it to another DOM element as a child. So we actually have to add it, okay? Um, so just creating it doesn't do anything. Second, if we create an element that doesn't have any visual features, right, then we'll have to give it some style so it actually appears like something because normally a div will appear in on the page, but it won't, you know, we won't be able to see it. It'll just be you know, no background color, no border, no, you know, no nothing, right? You won't be able to see it. So, so well, let's do those things, right? So what I want to do is I want to add this box to the main element. So what I'll do is I'll say main dot append child, okay? And the child I want to append is box, okay? Um, and then I'll, I'll refresh here and we still can't see it. I kind of actually see the empty div there, but it doesn't show as anything, right? So now I've got main and it's got this div, but now we need to make the box look like something. So if we want, we can put some styles on it. So we'll say box.style.width um, dot width equals, and then we'll make it a hundred. Let's make it smaller. Let's make it like uh, 60 pixels by box.style dot um, height equals 60 pixels and then we can say you know box dot style dot border and we'll do the shorthand border thing here so we can say solid uh, two pixels and then we'll do um, we'll do kind of uh, we'll make it fuchsia so we'll say uh, f zero f right and then we can refresh here, and then there's our box, right? So it shows up here, and you can see these styles, when we set them with JavaScript, they end up as inline styles. So that works pretty good. Um, what if we did this, though? What if I take these styles out of here, and I, I'd really like to have them in my style sheet, because maybe they're, you know, in some cases, this is going to be a lot more convenient. So maybe I'll make um, a class name called box, right? And then I'll, I'll take these styles, I'll say, you know, width, of you know 60 pixels, you know height. Oops, I got an extra character there. Um, height of 60 pixels and a border of solid two pixels, and uh, we'll do the same color 
Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, we got a problem though is, you know, I named the variable box, but this is a class name and I wanna assign that class name to the element here. And if I, you know, if I refresh here, you can see I've got div, but it doesn't have the class name on it. You know, I could try and give it the class name here you know, um, actually I misspelled it. That would actually work, but it would only be temporary, right? But but anyway, so so how do we assign the class name? Well, what we can do is we can say box dot um, class list dot add, right? And what I want to do is I want to add the class named box. Okay, so this would we have a, a DOM element here. It's got a list of class names, and then we can add. There's also a remove and toggle method okay hey there's our box there and you can see it says div classes box and then our style is actually coming from the style sheet down here right so anyway so thanks for watching and i hope that that's giving you some ideas on how to how to you know create interesting um, javascript applications